right, so our next speaker is, we're in this kind of vein, if you can, you pick up the themes that we kind of put together, so this one we're having a conversation about plate scrape, and this guy has got the coolest doodad. Um, so he has this background in having worked in all kinds of food service and uh, ended up at one point with having over 600 plates that needed to be washed right now. So he's got a plan. Yes, I do have a plan. And I'm actually not going to stand under this spotlight. I know, it is hard. No, thank you. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Sweet. Uh, my name is Nate Stein. I'm the inventor and the CEO of Plate Scrape. And um, so what I have for you today is a, is a new invention, a new product we have. We're a small startup in San Luis Obispo trying to solve a big world problem, and that's just waste, water waste, energy waste. Oh, I don't have my clicker. Um, so in this room, who hates washing dishes? <laughs> yeah, everybody. I, I hated it. My parents own a catering company. And we all know washing dishes is the worst part of anybody's job. Um, how do I play this? Hit the blue dot. Okay, so the, the average or the, the normal way when you get a plate, you take it, you bring it back, and you see this. Oh, that was blue button. Sorry. Yeah, I think there's a video in there. Those are the videos. Sorry, everybody. So yeah, the, 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 the way you um, wash dishes is everybody knows the, the spray nozzles, right? You're sitting there spraying off plates. That's fresh water that is spraying off those plates, and the, those plates are then going into the dishwasher to use more water. That's a huge problem. Not only is that water, but we're wasting energy, too. No? OK, cool. Um, no, it's all good. These, these spray nozzles are a big problem because millions of restaurants, food service facilities, hospitals, hotels, cruise ships, they're all using them, and they're all continuing to waste so much water. Not only that, but it's hot water, so we're wasting energy, too. Um, a, a, a few other problems that we have with that is that spray um, that dish area becomes a hazard zone if you don't have those non-slip shoes. So we've created a product here that helps eliminate that backsplash that you get from those spray nozzles, which is really awesome. Right? <laughs> you don't have to, but if you'd like to, we could put it here. Yeah. All, is, all is good. Oh, yeah, sorry. I should have shown everybody. <laughs> and the cool thing about this plastic bucket and brushes, it's the most badass bucket and brushes you will ever <laughs> see, but we built this to last, you know. This is a very strong, durable product. We're 100% made in America. We are based out of San Luis Obispo. We do injection moldings in San Luis Obispo, as well as our brushes are made in Los Angeles by um, one of the largest brush corporations in America. They, they make brushes for NASA, the U.S. Army, and uh, Plate Scrape won Innovation of the Year through the American Brush Manufacturers Association. <laughs> <laughs> They called it the most boring brush with the biggest impact. Yeah, as you can see, very simple. These guys come out. These guys slide off. Everything is high temperature, dishwasher safe, and we're able to clean upwards of 600 plates with the same four and a half gallons of water where that 600 plates would have used over 80 gallons of fresh water. Yeah. <laughs> Very simple. Um, so a, a little bit about me. I know I'm going to be all over the place. I'm a little nervous, so bear with me. Um, a little bit about me. This is the very first prototype I made after a wedding. I had literally 600 plates next to me. And since my parents own the catering company, I'm cooking, cleaning, breaking down, setting up everything in between. And so I thought, man, there has to be a better way to do this. And I admit, I do play a lot of golf. And when you wash golf clubs, you stick it right in and you stick it right out. And I thought, wow. That is a good, you know, I could build off of that. And so we do have our full patents. Um, we are patent pending. We have uh, international PD, uh, patent treaties, so we're trying to um, get our patents in Europe. Although I will say we've sold over 500 units, and we are in 12 different countries. Um, so that's really exciting. Hopefully this video plays. As you can see, this is, uh, uh, nope. Sorry. No, that's OK. Well, I'll just play it out. We cleaned a lot of plates really fast. <laughs> um, so this is my buddy Lucas and myself. Again, we're at a wedding. We're off-site where we don't have a sink. We don't have a wash basin. We can't clean these plates. And rental companies all over the place always recommend that you, or almost say, hey, you have to rinse these plates before they get returned. 
And I, I've heard some things in Al Alameda County that they're enforcing these on these rental companies more because the rental company, when they get these plates, you know, that's really dirty. Those plates are sitting there for two, three days sometimes. It becomes concrete. So when those employees have to clean those plates, not only are they wasting a tremendous amount of water, but their labor, too, is just unreal. So for us, we are caterers, or I am uh, uh, caterers. We want to help the rental companies out because this is a nice little ecosystem that we're all in. We're all in this event industry together. So if we can make their jobs easier to pass on to them the savings, why would we not all want to win? Very, very simple. You fill it up, water. Make sure you add soap after filling or else you'll get bubbles, just like a bathtub. Um, and yeah, you just slide the dirty plates in. Let our award-winning brushes do all the work for you. <laughs> That's my spiel. Um, and the, I don't know if you've ever been into a restaurant, but next time you guys go, make a conscious effort. Feel that plate. Just feel it. If you feel that crusty left on, ooh, ugh. You guys are all eating off it until we have plate scrapes. Uh, <laughs> the plate scrapes will really reduce that tremendously. Uh, we have rewash rates as low as 2% um, when they are like 25, 30% at certain restaurants because those dishwashers are so used to this. Just spraying away America's water. Like just spraying it away. No, oh, it hurts me to think, to talk about. Um, and so yeah, just let our brushes do all the work. When those plates come out, they're ready for the sanitation. You're using less soap because those machines are so smart that they detect grease, so they will uh, administer more soap. It's less energy because you're not using hot water, as well as it's cutting down actual man hours. Yes, it is a brand new invention. Yes, people will have to get used to it. But I love it when people tell me, hey, my dishwashers hated you, but they will not do a shift without it now. So that's a really, really big thing for us. It saves water, saves time, saves energy. You get the spiel. Real numbers. So we had our product tested. I don't know if anybody knows the Food Service Technology Center in San Ramon. Yes, okay, yes. Uh, California, they're um, publicly, or they're funded by the California Utility Act and administered through PG&E. Um, if none of you all are familiar, they test the efficiency of commercial equipment. So they tested the low flow spray nozzles, low flow, mind you, in um, their facilities. They're all online. And we tested our, so they have a 200 plate comparison. They bake on um, tomato paste for about 24 hours. So I'm talking concrete. You scratch that. You, I wish I had a video. Um, you scratch that off, you can't. It, it's concrete. So they sit there, they have a distance, and they spray it off, and they have a stopwatch, and they calculate how long it's going to take to clean. We saved 93% less water and was 45% faster. So we blew it out of the water. <laughs> Um, we have, so these, these numbers are really cool, but they're also estimates because with that, um, with that, I w I'll, I'll get to that soon. But as you all know, um, the EPA, they, um, said, you know, 52% of all water is used in commercial dishwashing. Plate scrape can help save a tremendous amount inside those food service areas. Everybody loves a plate scrape. Whoever uses it, they're always smiling. It's really awesome to see. But not only, you know, restaurants, we're in catering companies, we're in rental companies, hospitals, hotels, um, you name it. So this is really cool. We received a grant through the Santa Clara Valley Water District um, last year. And what they are going to do is they're providing a funding to hire the Food Service Technology Center. And we have six locations that we get to choose from, two small, two medium, and two large. And anybody here who knows of anybody who wants to be part of this pilot test, please see me afterwards. Um, there, there's going to be two weeks' worth of work. You get $2,000 to participate and a free plate scrape, just saying. So come see me. Um, but what's really cool is we're going to be able to show white papers. And after this white paper, which is a test done to show real-life stats, we're going to be able to maybe offer rebates for this. So not only are we saving water, but now you don't have to pay as much for it either. So I'm really, really excited to get started on that. Um, another really awesome partnership that we've developed is with water.org. And to me, this is huge because, one, we're saving a tremendous amount of water, but we're also giving a sh shit, sorry, excuse my language, a shitload of water back, which, like, that's huge. So for every plate scrape sold, we're able to sell... Uh, or provide over 10 years access of water, which, yeah. It's, um, yeah, so we partnered up also with Rethink Disposable, 
And I'm really excited about that because we're always talking about reusables and get rid of disposables. So if we're able to go in and audit these places, when I say we rethink disposable, I don't do the auditing. Um, if they're able to go in and show them like, hey, look, you guys are wasting a tremendous amount by using these um, um, the, the plastic plates or, or what, what it may be, instead of saying, hey, look, instead you should just clean all your plates. Now we have a better turnkey solution to reduce them using the reusable. So we're really excited about that partnership. Um, we're all over the place. Like I said, we're being distributed through Ecolab. So if you have an Ecolab rep, you could buy it from them. Um, Edward Don distributes us. We have a lot of units in the military. They use these as a three compartment sink. Um, last year, yeah, we also won most innovative product by the Green Restaurant Association. So this product is certified green product. Uh, we're able to provide green points for it. So that's really awesome. We are UL and NSF approved. Um, so if you guys are worried about that, 100% made in America. And yeah, I'm really excited that you guys are all listening to me right now. And <laughs> yeah, and if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer and I'll be here all day. Any questions? Yes, sir. Hello. I'm not sure if you mentioned this, but does your product contain recycled content? And if not, is that something you're looking at? So that's a great question. We always recommend to scrape your plate off into a compost, always, because you don't just take that dirty plate full of food. You always need to get rid of the mass stuff. And when you do, there's a strainer that you would dump out. And we are working um, with Ecolab right now to create a, a special enzyme that you would put in as like a soap. And when that enzyme multiplies, when you go to dump it down your drain, it acts like, like a natural uh, draino. So it'll help flush your drain out as well as uh, break down all the bacteria and the grease while it's working. Is this, is this, I think the question was whether or not this is made of recycled product. Oh, is this made of recycled product? Oh, so, I'm sorry, I mis totally misunderstood. Um, so the bucket is made in Akron, Ohio by a really big bucket company called Acro Mills, and it's an FDA approved bucket and brush uh, bucket. Our uh, brackets are BPA free, but not made of recycled material. And our brushes um, have uh, an antimicrobial special coating on it, but uh, we do use PVC for the base. Um, but everything else, like in our company, we are trying to be more conscious because we are a water savings, an environmentally friendly. We're trying to do our part, but that's a great question. I wish, yeah, we are going to custom make a bucket, and so that sh should be high on our priority. Thank you. You may have already, um, sorry, right here, hi. Hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> you may have already answered this question, yeah. but I was wondering in terms of the food waste, yeah. what kind of food waste are you seeing come off of those and what are you guys doing That's with it? great question as well. So situational, depends on the restaurant, the people who are eating. Um, but again, we always recommend dump your food waste into a, um, uh, I, I'm blanking. Yeah, compost. Sorry, I'm blanking on the name. Yeah, compost. But as far as, um, yeah, I, yeah, just dump it into the compost. That's what we recommend right now. There is some people that are trying to use it dry without any water to, to do that. But it's, yeah, I love your head shake. No, that's not what you do. <laughs> okay, um, but we're working hard on the water because the, the water is the most important. Yes. Oh, okay. Hi. I could hear you. So first of all, is how do you clean and wash it? And then how what is the retail price to you? So it's like a so and how long does it last? Really awesome questions. I love it. So Everything is 100% dishwasher safe. Like I said, we've been UL and NSF approved, so we had to go through vigorous testings to make sure we comply with all the plastics that we use. Um, and everything just goes right into the dishwasher. You could bleach it, you can clean it. Um, the plastics won't absorb any chemicals. Um, they retail for $270 a pop. Um, they come with a full year warranty, but I'm, like I said, I'm so, um, I know that I've already been using one in my parents' catering company for over half a million plates. And so I offer ridiculous, you just take a picture of, our, of, of you using the product and I extend the warranty. You're gonna lose these, these brushes before you need to replace them. We built this to last. Thank you so much. Cool, thank you guys all again, I really appreciate it.
Nate also made a reference that he's going to be here all day, and I think that's the case for almost all of our speakers. So, right, we can't get to everybody's questions and stay on schedule. So you need to go.